This is Alex Yu and you're watching the Rage and Ruin Review. I realize the script is already written but it's a lot of fun to speculate and dream about all the things that we want in the next movie. So my big question for you, the viewers and the fans, where do you want the big final climatic battle to take place? As far as we know from the current events that are happening, the final battle could take place on a big city streets, just like the first one but probably on a larger scale. Or they could take place somewhere else, we just don't know because maybe they haven't filmed it yet. In the first one they already had a city battle so if they want to make another city battle work in the third one, they they'd have to make it larger and more coherent than the first one. The first city battle ran for about 20 minutes. In Revenge of the Fallen, their final battle took place in the desert. And although it was very entertaining, you can kind of think of it as the Scorponok battle in the first one except being 45 minutes long. The problem with the Egypt battle was that it was too big and there was too much stuff going on and it was very hard to follow. Because you were following so many different aspects of the battle. You had to follow Sam, the other Autobots, or lack of, the Marines, and the Air Force. And the biggest problem with the final battle was that it was not even a battle between Autobots Autobots and Decepticons. It was a battle with the US military versus an enemy that we cannot see because it's outside of the frame. Because you would always see this intense footage of these soldiers firing, but where are they shooting at? They're always shooting at something that is outside of the frame. So for a whole two minutes, all I see is soldiers firing. But at what? Who are they shooting at? Well, I don't really know because they rarely ever point the camera at the target. All I see is 45 minutes of be all you can be. Anyways, I'm going off topic. This is what I personally want for Transformers 3. I want it to take place at a military base. Think about it. It's it's the perfect playground for Michael Bay and a Transformers slugfest. It doesn't have to necessarily take place in a desert, but perhaps an open field with barracks, hangars, and maybe some other military structures. And think about how awesome it would be for Autobots to fight evil military vehicles and dare I say, Combaticons. And perhaps this time, the Combiner can be taken out by Autobots instead of a railgun mounted on a destroyer cruiser by the Navy at sea miles and miles away in one single shot. I mean, come on. This is what I want for Transformers 3. Will it happen? Most likely not. But we won't know until someone spoils it for us or until I see the movie. There was so much coverage on Transformers 2 that we already knew what was going to happen in the final battle and that it was also going to take place in Egypt. Before I go, there's one more personal request that I'd like for Transformers 3. And that is more Autobot personalities fleshed out. Of course, everybody wants that, but here's my personal request. In the first movie, Optimus introduced Ironhide as a weapon specialist. So how about they show the audience how Ironhide is a weapon specialist? Show us his big cannons in action that really cause some serious destruction. Show us that Ironhide is a badass Autobot that can really rough it out with a Decepticon twice his size. And if Ratchet is such a medical officer, why isn't he pulling wounded Autobots out of the battlefield and trying to fix them during a firefight? You see, these little details tell a lot about the character without the effort of having to explain a lot. All Ratchet did in the second movie was shoot aimlessly. That could have been done by a nameless Autobot or Decepticon and we wouldn't even care. Anyways, I don't know if I'm asking for too much, but Optimus and Bumblebee were really fleshed out characters in the first two movies. But we, as the fans, could see a little more justice done to the other core characters. I mean, even Soundwave and Ravage's scenes, although short, had more justice done to them. Some might disagree with me, but Soundwave and Ravage were portrayed exactly the way they were in the cartoons. He's a communications expert. He sabotages and intercepts radio signals. He's cool as hell and deploys Ravage, his minion, and uses him for infiltration. Anyways, I'm done here. What is your ultimate definitive final battle wish for Transformers 3? You heard what I had to say. I want to know what you think. This is Alex Yu, and you've been watching the Rage and Ronin Review. Peace. Woo!